Excuse me? Would you mind if I ask you three honest questions, please? Uh, sure. Um, uh, do you think I'm attractive? Uh, <laughs> I guess so. I mean, you're all right. I'm all right, wow. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> oh, why? Why? Um, this is kind of awkward, but uh, wh what would you excuse not to kiss me right now? What would it be? <laughs> what? Excuse me, beautiful. Can I ask you a couple of questions? What? Do you want to ask me questions? Yes. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have a yeah, boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. You have I a. I mean, not really. We're we're just dating. What is that supposed to mean? Anyway, do you think I'm attractive? Um, I don't know. Yeah, sure, I guess. Well, what, what's your excuse not to kiss me? <laughs> My excuse not to kiss you? No. <laughs> You're crazy. What? Come here. I know you like, you like it. <laughs> may I ask you three questions? Sure. Um, yeah, it's kind of awkward, but uh, do you think I'm attractive? Yeah. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? No, why? Come here, stop. What would you excuse not to kiss me right now? To kiss you? Yeah. Come here. What's up? What's such a cutie do, uh, cutie like you doing by yourself? Hi, I'm here waiting for my girlfriend. Oh, uh -huh. where's your girlfriend? She's on her way over here. Mm, okay. Uh, may I ask you three questions? Depends on what it is. What do you mean depends on what? Uh, it's uh, do you have a boyfriend? I don't. You don't. Well, that's good. Uh, do you think I'm attractive? I'm sorry, it's kind of awkward, but. <laughs> yeah, you're attractive. You're all right. I'm all right. Well, what, what would your excuse not to kiss me right now? What would it be? Depends if you're a good kisser. So, am yeah, I a good that kisser? Was, that was good. Yeah, that's what my sister told me last night. Hi, excuse me, is this your daughter? Uh, I just got a million subscribers and like, I don't care if, uh, I'm a nurse. I don't care if uh, you think I'm attractive or whatnot and uh, I th I'm just... What the... Here are five romantic mistakes that will almost always land you in the friend zone. Listen to them carefully and make a mental note of how many you've already made. Sending a girl flowers at work. Confessing your feelings to her in a text or email. Showing her you're a good guy by not going for the kiss or waiting to make your move. Bringing a girl a gift on a first date. Or dropping obvious hints that you'll want to be her boyfriend. If you're scratching your head going, what is this guy talking about? Then you're in for a shocking discovery. Hi, this is Bobby, and in this short video, I'm going to reveal a weird little mind game called The Scrambler that flips a switch in a girl's mind and gets her obsessed with sleeping with you. Now, I have to warn you, The Scrambler is like fucking with her head on steroids, so if you think playing mind games is unethical or immoral, exit this video. Now, if you're not afraid to use tricks to get a girl into bed, I'll show you how this sneaky little secret can take complete control of her thoughts. And even though this might sound impossible, now, once you watch this short presentation and do what it says, you'll feel like you suddenly have a remote control to the fuck me center of her mind. You'll finally have that female friend butt naked on your bed, confessing how badly she wants you. You'll be surprised when that bartender or waitress you have a secret crush on is slipping her number on the receipt. You'll shock your friends when that hot girl at the party who everyone has their eye on is flirting with you and begging to go back to your place. This mind game will even have that girl who got away knocking on your door 
door at 2 in the morning because she suddenly decides she has to have you inside her. And I personally promise that any girl will fall for the scrambler. No matter what her opinion of you is now, how bad of a first impression you made with her, no matter how shy or nervous you are around girls you like, and no matter how many times you tried and failed to seduce some girl you desperately wanted. And it'll work even if you just think you're too old or you're too hopeless of a situation to fix. So, why is seducing that cool, fun, sexy girl so hard? Even though some guys make it look so fucking simple. I don't know about you, but whenever I really liked a girl, it felt like there was this invisible force field that was just determined to keep us apart. I wasted years obsessing over classmates, coworkers, girls from my social circle, and even random girls I'd pass in the hallway who barely knew I was alive. I was constantly sitting at home, planning how I'd make my move in some cool, suave way that almost never happened. I won't even tell you about all the imaginary conversations I had with these girls, or sitting around with my friends pathetically analyzing every single word she said to me. Today she smiled at me on the way to the bathroom. Do you think that's a good sign? Now, I didn't know it then, but I was uncovering an important ingredient of the scrambler. We'll get to that in a minute. But most of the time, I just silently bottle up my feelings until I couldn't take it anymore and just blurt out how much I liked her. Or worse, I'd send her some embarrassing email confessing how cute and special and fun to talk talk to she was. It usually end with her mumbling something like, you're really nice, I just don't have those kind of feelings for you. Yep, the truth is, my entire life I got some version of that excuse from just about every girl I saw as girlfriend material. Now, here's the really sad part. I practically lived in the gym. I went tanning regularly. I bought clothes I couldn't afford just to seem stylish and... I'm kind of ashamed to reveal this, but I stuck needles full of steroids into my ass because I thought big muscles would finally win her over. And yet, girls I had a strong connection with, a similar sense of humor, lots in common, would reject me and go bang some scrawny waiter who was stringing her along and treating her like crap. It didn't seem fair. I was constantly sitting there scratching my head wondering why the girls I liked never wanted to bang me or kept giving me the pathetic friend zone speech. Finally, like Like a lot of guys, I gave up. I decided it wasn't worth the time or the effort to go after the girls I really wanted, and I'd focus on work and making money instead, and maybe one day if I was rich enough or somehow famous enough, she'd finally choose me. And yeah, I had to live with the feeling that there was just something inherently wrong with me. Like, I had the word friend zone stamped on my forehead. But then, a few years ago, I stumbled onto a simple question that changed everything for me. It was the key to slipping into a girl's mind and unlocking a secret desire. A desire that was like an itch that only I could scratch and led me to sleep with multiple girls that had already given me the friend zone speech. It had these girls put me up on a pedestal and chase me like I was some sort of rock star. And most importantly, for the first time in my life, I felt like I had the power and the upper hand with girls. This simple question was the seed that turned into the scrambler. What was the question? Now, it may seem kind of silly, but here it is. You ever watch a cat play with a string? I'm serious. You can learn the essence of unlocking a woman's desire by watching a cat play with a piece of string. Let me explain. Well, when the string's dangling above its head just out of reach, the cat goes crazy trying to get it. It leaps in the air, dancing around, and chases it all over the room. But as soon as you let go of the string and it drops right between the cat's paws, a weird thing happens. It just looks at it for a second, gets bored, and walks away. Well, girls are the same exact way. The easier you are to catch, the more bored and less interested she becomes. Simply because once a girl knows she has you, it's over. The minute she figures out she's the one holding the power, her attraction for you plummets, her legs get locked shut, and you're more likely to win the lottery than to see her naked. And it happens fast sometimes within five minutes of talking to you. This is why a girl will go from hot to cold or from wanting to fuck you to wanting to be your friend. This is why a girl that seemed totally into you will start ignoring your calls, is suddenly always too busy to hang out, or just flat out gets mean or unresponsive towards you. It's like she was disappointed the game was so easy and she actually loses respect for you. You see, it goes against her nature. She wants to chase you. She wants the dancing string. Now, I've got some good news, great news 
news, in fact. Are you ready for it? Okay, here it is. It works both ways. When a guy gets on a girl's radar and is dangling close enough for her to play with, but just out of reach, it drives her crazy and she's compelled to try to seduce him. Like the cat drawn to the dancing string, girls are drawn to the hard to catch guy, even if she wasn't attracted to him to begin with. Now, you may be thinking you've heard it all and tried it all, but you have never seen anything like the scrambler before. And I'm going to prove it to you in just a second. You see, all girls have what I call a chase reflex. And when you tap this reflex using a secret weapon I discovered, she goes into seducer mode and pulls out all the stops. She starts wearing sexier outfits, letting her dirty sides slip out when she's around you. I even had a seemingly innocent girl I worked with pull me into the bathroom and give me a blowjob in the middle of one of our shifts. This is because when a girl can't figure you out, she loses all control and will do just about anything to make you hers. You ever wonder why girls will chase some player or bad boy for years? It's because these guys continue to tap or chase me reflex. And because they're always just out of her reach, she'll continue to chase them long after she realizes they're just going to disappoint her. And right now, as you watch this video, I bet you've already got some girl obsessed with you just by triggering this natural instinct inside her. A lot of times, we accidentally do it to girls we're not really interested in. For years, as guys, we've been told that we're their pursuers. We're supposed to chase the girl. That it's our job to win her over. I'm here to tell you that's dead wrong. The fact is, girls are hardwired to want what they can't have. And when you use a simple technique called the scrambler that I'm going to teach you in a minute, you'll trigger something called role reversal. And that girl who was slipping away, giving you the friend zone speech, or acting like you're not even alive, she'll suddenly have all the time in the world for you. She'll drive over to your house at 3 a.m. just so she can wake up with your dick in her mouth. She'll blow off her friends. She'll delete every other guy's number from her phone. She'll be down on her knees begging to be your girlfriend. So, if playing hard to get is all it takes to seduce cool, sexy girls, why aren't more guys banging their dream girl? Great question. Here's the answer. Back in 2010, I got together with a legendary pickup artist and dating coach, Rob Judge. Although we both had quickly developed amazing reputations for teaching shy or socially challenged guys how to flirt, how to create intense sexual attraction in a girl, and even how to quickly get a girl into bed, we were both extremely frustrated with the fact that so few guys were able to score that one girl they really wanted. In fact, what we found was that there was an opposite correlation, in that the more feelings you have for a girl, the less likely you are to get her. This definitely should not be the case. You see, most guys understand they need to play the game, yet most guys fail miserably at it. When it comes to the girls they really want, most guys don't stand a chance. Rob and I wanted to figure out what they were doing that was driving girls so quickly away. Both of us have studied this long enough to know it's not looks, money, what kind of job you have, or car you drive that gets a girl obsessing over you. So why are some guys walking, talking, pussy repellents, while other guys seem to have a gravitational pull where girls just seem to flow? to them. So we compared what these guys were doing. The guys who had an almost endless supply of girls stuck in their spider web all fighting to be their girlfriend to what the average guy was doing. The guy who continually slits his own wrists with the girls he's really attracted to. Now you may not have heard of Rob or I but together we have over 147,000 guys receiving our underground dating advice newsletters and our articles and videos have been republished on thousands of different websites. Point blank when we give advice, people listen. The reason we've developed such a massive following is because we're not afraid to call it like it is. So, before I tell you some of the things we discovered that led to the scrambler, I'm going to warn you that this is definitely not politically correct. And if you're a woman watching this, you may want to close the video now because you're not going to like what I'm about to reveal. Still here? Good. So, if there's a girl right now that you've got your eye on and would just love to have her horny and naked on your bed, let me share with you some of the big ideas that we discovered you can use to get her fixated on sleeping with you, make her fall in love with you, and turn her into your girlfriend or fuck buddy. I call these the four horsemen of the chase. And what you're going to find is that they fly in the face of commonly held beliefs about what girls want and are probably the exact opposite of what you do. First, we discovered with girls, the more uncertain she was about where she stood with a guy, the more likely she is to fuck him. See, girls are actually turned on by confusion, uncertainty, and mystery. She wants to spend time analyzing your behavior. She wants 
wants to have to read between the lines. In fact, the more time she spends decoding what you do and say with her friends, asking things like, what do they mean when he... The wetter her pussy's getting and the more obsessed she gets with sleeping with you. Second, we discover that being the perfect guy is destructive and can quickly murder her attraction. Weird, right? But see, as guys, we like things calm and content. Our idea of a great relationship is we have everything in common or we never fight or we get along perfectly. But girls are an entirely different beast. Girls crave drama and emotional turbulence. Think about it like this. If a movie were two hours long of positive shit happening to the main character, you'd be throwing popcorn at the screen you were so bored. And that's why nice guys lose the girls they really like. If you never disappoint or upset her, the movie becomes predictable and boring. Why do you think girls obsess over bad boys? The drama these guys provide is addicting as crack. She gets to feel like she's the star of her own personal soap opera. Now, in just a second, I'll show you a simple way to do this without changing your personality, without acting like an asshole, and without pretending to be someone you're not. So keep watching. Third, we stick a dagger in the heart of the notion that girls want you to work to win her over. What we discovered was that the person who tries harder holds less power. And remember, when she's holding the power, it's impossible for her to fuck you. You see, you might think that showing a girl you're funny enough, charming enough, social enough, will make her want to be your girlfriend or think, I should fuck this guy. But it's ten times more effective to flip the switch and get her working to impress you. The minute she lets her sexy side out, tries to show you she's a cool girl, girl or catches herself worried about what you think about her it's like you flipped her fuck me switch and she no longer hides her naughty side she stops playing hard to get and before long she's bent over your bed muttering things like why don't you put it in my ass oh yeah even that good girl you're imagining using it on she'll fall for it the fastest it's like her brain is subconsciously going i must really like this guy even if she didn't like you initially you can actually turn the tables finally rob and i discovered our core principle of anticipation Noticing that it can be used as a pussy wedding weapon. See, what we found is that her desire for you peaks when she's away from you thinking about you. When she begins to desperately anticipate the next time she'll see or hear from you. See, as a guy, when we sense things are going good, we're afraid to pull back a bit. But if you retreat and leave her wanting more, she actually convinces herself that you're the only guy she wants to sleep with. Using our principle of anticipation, you can actually train a girl to get addicted to your phone calls, your dates, and yes, your dick. Here's something really cool. You don't even have to already be dating a girl to use this stuff on her. In fact, I'm going to show you how within five minutes of meeting her, you can jump start the chase. I'll get to that in a second. Summing it up, what we found was that in order to rapidly and easily have a girl on your bed whispering how bad she wants you, you need to do just four things. One, you got to get her analyzing your behavior and unleash an intense curiosity in her to try to figure you out. Two, you need to create an emotional roller coaster that holds her attention hostage. Three, you need to flip her approval seeking switch and get her addicted to your validation. Four, you have to retreat long enough for her to develop a strong desire to see or hear from you again. You want her waiting for your phone calls, pulling her phone out of her pocket every few minutes to see if she missed your text, craving a compliment from you like a glass of water in the desert. Sound complicated? It's not. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Let me explain. When Rob and I noticed what girls were responding to, we wanted to create something foolproof. Because let's face it, it's easy to fuck this up when you got a beautiful girl in front of you and your mind goes blank or you start listening to your emotions. Your emotions are like a dickless virgin whispering advice in your ear. Text her again, maybe her phone is broke. She's different, you don't need to play the game with her. Yep, it's pretty easy to mess this up without a concrete game plan. Also, what we found was that these four steps work like gangbusters for banging a female friend, getting an ex back, or turning some girl you have class with into a fuck butt which was cool, but we wanted more. Yeah, we got greedy. You will too when you learn this. I wanted something that worked fast so that I can use it to seduce my hairdresser, my bank teller, hot, flexible yoga instructors. Over the next few months, we discovered more and more seduction weapons that would tap a girl's chase me reflex and immediately ignite her desire. We noticed that within a few minutes of talking to a girl, you can actually snatch all the power right out of her hands. And once you're holding the power, man, does she want to bang you. Even if she's dating someone else or has already placed you in the friend zone. Case after case. The more girls we tested this stuff on, the more we realized how powerful it was. What we discovered was that there was a certain secret 
sequence you can use these weapons in that made them almost foolproof. Here's why. What's the first sign you're falling in love with someone? Come on, we've all been there. What's the first sign? I'll tell you. It's when you can't stop thinking about the other person. And here's the ultimate secret of the scrambler. You get her to chase your attention. You get her to crave your validation. You make her work for it. And the more she works for it, the more time she spends obsessing over you. Listen closely to what I'm about to say. If you can get a girl thinking about you when you're not around, it's like having a remote control to her emotions and you can make her fall in love with you. And once she's in love with you, fucking her is like stealing candy from a baby. The only thing in the world that matters to her is your dick in her pussy. We nicknamed the sequence the scrambler because it basically scrambles a girl's brain until she's completely infatuated with you. Here's what else you'll love. It allows you to put the game on autopilot. No more worrying if you're showing too much interest, if you're not being persistent enough, if she's slipping away or just playing hard to get. And you'll never have to worry if you're texting too much, too little, if you should compliment her, when to reveal your feelings. Just sit back and let the scrambler do the work. Without a doubt, we decided this was too powerful not to share. I'm going to tell you exactly how to get the scrambler for yourself in just a second. See, if a girl disappears on you, or if you've always felt like the kid who gets picked last in gym class when it comes to girls, it wasn't because your man boobs, your prematurely balding head, your age, your shitty job. I believe that shit for years, and those are the things I blamed every time I messed things up with some girl I should have been sleeping with. The reason a girl rejects you, loses interest, or acts like you're not even fucking alive is because every move you made was unconsciously handing her the power and revealing your hand too soon. And that turns her off faster than you can say friend zone. Luckily, there's a loophole. And the best part is, it's all completely under her radar. Yeah, it's a little sneaky. Yeah, it's a little controversial. And yeah, it's really fucking effective. Especially on good girls. You could think of it as Operation Mind Control. Because you're going to have a toolbox of specific phrases, stories, cryptic text messages, certain gestures and facial expressions. A set of chess moves pulling her towards you, then pushing her away. And slipping seemingly innocent comments into ordinary conversations. And curveballs. You'll use these to erase her mental charge. This way, even if you've already messed up or made a bad impression, she'll instantly forget she's ever rejected you or muttered, let's just be friends. And once you have the upper hand, her rational side goes out the window and she starts acting completely on impulse. Have you seen a girl without impulse control? Let's slow down for a second because I want you to completely visualize it. Now, I bet you already know the first girl you're going to use this on. Good. Get a nice picture of her pushing you against the wall, unbuckling your pants, sliding her panties around her ankles propping herself up on the kitchen counter, looking at you with that I've been waiting forever to fuck you look, pulling you into her, and not stopping till the both your sweaty bodies explode together. That's what it looks like when you strip away her impulse control. And guess what? That's the power the scrambler has over hot, unsuspecting girls. Now, if you're like a lot of guys hearing this for the first time, this can make your head swim a little bit and leave you with a lot of questions. Since I started teaching this and giving private talks on it, I've heard them all. So how much interest should I show? When do I stop playing hard to get? How often should I text her? How will I know when it's working? Here's a clue it's working. One of the things the scrambler's designed to do is to get her to imagine a future with you. So you'll notice she starts suggesting dates the two of you can go on, or she'll even try to plan a vacation with you. It's a pretty cool moment when you're getting on that plane with her, heading off to some tropical paradise, just you and her, and you just smile to yourself on how it all started. Now, the more guys I taught this to, the more questions I got. What's the best way to make my move? What kind of mixed signal should I send? What's the exact sequence of the scrambler? What do I actually say to her? I get it. Those are very good questions, and I have specific answers to all of them. My name is Bobby Rio, and for the past year, my friend Rob and I have been secretly teaching the scrambler in closed-door boot camps across the country, and the results that we've seen will blow your mind. Hundreds of guys are already using the scrambler to sleep with their co-workers, classmates, bartenders, and hot young college girls that wouldn't normally give them the time of day. Guys who'd spent their entire lives in the friend zone prison now have multiple girls stopping by their place at 2 a.m. looking to bang them. We've tested, refined, and perfected the entire sequence and answered every single question about the scrambler and created a complete system called Unlock Her Legs 
How to use the scrambler to nail that hard to get girl. Unlock her legs gives you the same exact value as having me and Rob there with you coaching you on your every move. And if you're worried this is just some program that'll trick a girl into sleeping with you and you want more than that, you want a girlfriend, let me explain. What this program hands you is the power. And once you have that, you call the shots. You can make her your girlfriend. Hell, you can marry her. I'm about to. Or you might decide you just want her as a fuck buddy. Or you can get greedy like a lot of guys do and build up a whole rotation of hot young girls girls they can hang out with on demand. The point is, you get to choose where you want the relationship to go. Think of this as a seduction roadmap that shows you exactly what the scrambler is and how to use it to seduce even the most hard to get girl. And it's the only formula that will completely reverse a girl's opinion of you so that you can take total control of the relationship. If you're shy or just feel nervous around girls, you'll especially like this because you just plant the idea in her mind and she gets so horny she'll make the first move. So you never have to worry about about what to say next, does she like you, should you go for the kiss, and because you don't even have to see her in person to get the process started, you can use Facebook, online dating, even text messaging to plant the idea in her mind, and soon she'll be in her car driving over to your place, which makes this perfect for nailing your great white buffalo. And best of all, we made a cookie cutter simple to follow. Jab, 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 right hook, retreat. For instance, you learn the exact moment you must pull away from a girl if you want to shift gears and get hurt chasing you. Did you know there's a simple question you can ask a girl that'll instantly tell you if she's ready to sleep with you so you never have to risk rejection or embarrassment? Did you know that most girls expect you to play the game? This is why the two day rule or waiting 20 minutes to text her back is a joke. She's sitting there going, oh god, another guy waiting two days to text me. One thing you must know about girls, when she expects you to zig, it's time to zag. Now, a lot of guys think nice guys finish last, and that's only partially true. See, women actually want you to be nice. The reason nice guys scare girls away is because they're too nice too soon. It's much better to start off edgy and make her earn your niceness. Being edgy just means starting off with a neutral attitude towards her, and then you make her jump through a bunch of hoops. I bet you already know that girls are hardwired to want what they can't have. What you probably didn't know is that if you start playing hard to get before you fully capture her attention, she'll just think you're disinterested, gay, or too shy to make a move. This is why it's crucial to follow the exact sequence laid out in the scrambler. Rob and I will teach you how to create the emotional roller coaster. How to use emotions like suspense, confusion, anticipation anticipation, surprise, and jealousy to create an addiction to being with you. She'll literally get withdrawal symptoms if your dick is not between her legs. Now, there's a point in every relationship where the girl will start playing hard to get, and most guys crumble into needy little bitches the moment this happens. You just failed the test and poof, she's gone for good. We'll teach you something called playful persistence that allows you to keep contacting her without seeming desperate or try hard, and actually increases her attraction towards you. If you're into trial and error, and you're willing to mess things up with a girl you can easily bang because you're too impatient to learn this? Close the video and give it a shot. Might not be pretty. Or you can do what most guys do and learn the entire sequence of the scrambler along with the seduction weapons you'll be using during each of the steps. Weapons designed to hold her attention hostage, to get her addicted to being with you, Weapons that'll have her falling in love with you. Each of the weapons work at conquering a different area of her brain until you're the only guy she thinks about. You're the only guy she talks about with her friends. You're the only guy she wants to fuck. At that point, you may as well tattoo your name on her pussy because it's yours. Each of the weapons comes with simple step-by-step -step instructions to make sure you use them in the exact sequence so that the scrambler becomes bulletproof. This isn't about spouting out lies or telling made-up stories to make you seem cool. This isn't about bullying girls or acting like some meathead on a roid rage. And it's definitely not about pumping you up with feel-good fluff like just be yourself. This is brand new and I'm revealing it publicly right now for the first time. I've heard at this information for years and it's one of the few things I've refused to teach in the past. Unless you are one of our private coaching clients paying thousands of dollars for one-on-one -on -one coaching, point blank, you've never heard anything like this. So if you're tired of feeling needy and powerless around the girls you really like, then I want to show you a simple formula to follow. And this formula doesn't require a boatload of confidence, money, or looks, and it doesn't require you to be a smooth talker. What the scrambler does is plant tiny seeds in her mind that keep her thinking about you when you're not around. It stirs jealousy in her mind till she begins to want you all to herself. It isolates her thinking so that other guys can't penetrate 
penetrate her thoughts or her pussy. You'll have her sexually fantasizing about you. She won't know where these thoughts are coming from, but she'll be powerless to stop them. So by the time you make your move, she'll be sexually starved for you. And here's the best part. This isn't complicated. In fact, follow the simple instructions and it's like stealing candy from a baby. Let me tell you a fraction of what's in the unlock her legs system. You'll learn the scrambler playbook for flipping her approval seeking switch. This gets her trying to get in your pants. This works even if she wasn't attracted to you in the first place. How to transform yourself into a puzzle that she's obsessed with solving. And from there you'll learn how to master the slow fuse seduction and continue to turn her on until she's foaming at the mouth to have you inside her. Discover the number one secret to getting a female friend to make the first move. Exactly how to handle the crucial make or break first five minutes of meeting up with her. This is when she decides if she's going to sleep with you or turn her cheek and give you the let's just be friends speech. You'll learn three simple power plays that position you as the prize and make sure the date ends with her back at your place. Here's an email I just got from a 43 year old divorcee I taught it to. When I first got back into the dating world after my divorce I was clueless and women instantly recognized this. I kept hearing let's just be friends. I was making all the classic mistakes, neediness, trying too hard, being too easy to figure out. After using what I learned from you, I have women some 20 years younger than me all wanting to date me. Then you're going to learn our mind control messaging sequence that snatches away your power and has her begging to see you. How to deal with a girl who's not responding to your messages. How to use innocent text to plant sexual thoughts in her mind. How to use text as bait to reel back in the girl who got away. Here's a Facebook message Alex sent us after using this. Dude, your texting advice led me to a blowjob in the university lecture hall. I owe this one to you, Bobby. Aw, uh, I fucking miss college. And if you're in college now, you're going to be able to spot a girl on campus, run the scrambler on her, and the next thing you know, you're up in her dorm room and she's climbing on top of you, shoving a condom in your hand, saying things like, I never usually do this with a guy so fast. Then you're going to learn the 12 psychological weapons that force a girl to obsess about you when you're not around. How do you use sexual suggestion to plant the idea of sex in her mind long before you go for the kiss. This way she makes it super easy for you. You'll learn the eight things average guys do that turn women ice cold and I can almost guarantee you're doing at least three of them right now. You'll learn how to pinpoint her power tests and exactly how to respond to them to instantly pique your curiosity and get her trying to impress you. Now the scrambler maps out the complete rules of engagement to avoid appearing needy, try hard, or mistakenly handing her the upper hand. Now one of the traps a lot of guys fall into is is they get stuck in nice guy mode where you're nodding your head and validating every word out of her mouth. We'll teach you something called the R-rated switch to quickly move the conversation towards sexual territory and eliminate any possible friend zone objections that might come up later. Then you'll learn sexual snowballing. Then you'll learn sexual snowballing. This is a sequence of subtly sexual questions that plant seeds in her mind that have her at home fantasizing about you later that night. But this is just the beginning. We're also going to teach you how to skyrocket the sexual tension a girl feels when she's around you. Our Bonnie and Clyde technique. I recommend using this one with caution because girls get very clingy. We'll show you how to get her to admit things to you that bond the two of you so close together that she'll start missing you the second you leave her side. Then you'll learn the only way you should be asking asking a girl out on a date. There's absolutely no risk of rejection when you use this technique. How to train her to fight for your approval. How to create a power dynamic where she's constantly trying to impress you. How to turn sex with you into the ultimate reward she's striving for. How to position yourself into the starring role of the romantic comedy constantly running through her mind. How to create that soulmate moment. How to create obstacles she has to overcome to get to you. We'll teach you the triangle of temptation. This is a conversation technique that targets three specific emotions that cause women to fall in love. Use our lust system to unlock such a strong sexual desire for you that she'll be stopping by your place late at night, making excuses to call you, displaying obvious jealousy when you even mention another girl's name, and it'll have her putting every ounce of effort into making sex with you as explosively pleasurable and downright dirty, kinky, and memorable as possible. And most importantly, the scramble will teach you the art of mixed signals. Think about how crazy it drives you when a girl acts hot and cold towards you. Well, it's ten times more powerful when you do it to her. And remember, when a girl can't figure you out, she can't stop thinking about you. And that's the secret to making her fall head over heels in love with you. Unlock her legs isn't about fluff 
for regurgitating things you already know. The program breaks down the entire formula of the Scrambler and gives you every weapon you need to pull it off and score that hard to get girl. It's not complicated or hard and gives you step by step instructions from hello all the way to how you should act after you slept with her. Now I'm going to get to the price in a second. First here's what Brendan had to say. I must say after first two days of learning this I went out met a 37 year old chick took her home and fucked her till 8 a.m. Your stuff really does work man. Here's what you can expect when you use the material in this program. Girls will be reacting to you completely differently. She'll be the one eager to hang out, eager to bang you, and asking you things like, so am I your girlfriend? You'll be calling the shots, and she'll be working to keep you interested. And I don't have to tell you that this makes you look like the man to everyone in your social circle. When other girls in your life pick up on this, they get jealous as shit and become much more attracted to you. All of a sudden, girls that barely acknowledge you existed are hitting you up on Facebook or approaching you in bars. One thing you should know about girls is nothing makes a girl hornier than seeing that another girl is dying to date you. So, how much for Unlock Her Legs? Which lays out the entire formula of the Scrambler. Gives you the complete lust system for turning her interest into intense sexual desire. And exactly what to do and say to close the deal and get her back to your bedroom. Let me ask you something. How much is it worth to have a girl that you're crazy attracted to, lying naked in bed with you, waking up and spending the morning having sex with her? To get out of the friend zone and finally get to give a big fat told you so to all your friends who said you'd never get her. To know that you have the power and choice to seduce hot, young, beautiful women anytime on demand. And what if following a simple formula took you from being average or below average with girls and turned you into one of those guys everyone hates because you're fucking all the girls they want? Hundreds of guys have already used the Scrambler to experience a dramatic and almost immediate change in the way girls respond to them, chase them, and beg them for sex. And because I want you to experience these results when you put these secrets to use, I'm going to let you have the full program at a price you're not going to believe. What do you think a fair price would be? $4.95 would be more than fair considering all the bonus products I'm about to give you. But you're not going to pay $4.95. You won't pay $2.95 either. You won't even pay $149. By ordering today only through this video, you get the entire Unlock Her Legs complete seduction system plus some kick-ass additional bonus products I'm about to show you for only $79 fully guaranteed for 60 days. And this is a one-time payment for lifetime access. Try it, see how well it works for you, and for any reason you don't fall in love with the unlock system, simply ask us for a refund and we'll give it to you every penny without questions or hassles and you can keep all the bonus books just for giving it a shot. Let me tell you about our fast acting bonuses. These special bonuses are only available to the first 500 guys who join us in the members only area. You're going to get invisible escalation. This video explains how to create sexual tension so thick you can cut with a knife with any girl you meet. You'll be tapping into a little known secret about sexual electricity that very few men know. Then you're going to get our She's Sending You Signals report and discover every hidden signal she's sending to the point you can actually read her mind and know exactly what she's thinking. This report shows you how to decode even the most hard to read girl. Never miss an opportunity to make your move. Never feel confused or frustrated because you can't can't read her signals. Then you're going to get the boyfriend destroyer sequence. If she's already dating someone and you know she likes you but she's too scared to leave her boyfriend, this sequence gives her the permission she needs to finally rush into your arms. You'll also get our magnetic effect pattern. This is a specific text messaging sequence you can use to get out of the friend zone. You'll also get our erogenous zone report. This special report will teach you everything you need to know to ensure that you're the best she's ever had in bed. And it'll crave you inside her and wouldn't even dream about banging another guy. You'll also get the Dirty Dozen. 12 conversation topics to insert into your conversation that create a love loop in her mind and have her go home later that night and think, wow, I think I'm falling in love with them. You'll learn all 12 topics and how to effortlessly slip them into conversation. If you order now, I'll also give you lifetime access to the unlocked members only area private community, which is a $200 value absolutely free. If you want to join the select group of members that are getting all their questions answered right now, then log in instantly by clicking the orange click to order now button below this video. Once you click the orange click to order now button, 
You'll be taken instantly to a secure checkout page and you'll be confident that your data is private and guaranteed secure. Everything is completely private and the charge shows up as ClickBank on your statement. And remember, this is a one-time payment. We're so confident it'll work for you that we're going to take all the risk off your shoulders and let you see everything risk-free. We know how amazing it's going to feel for you when you notice the pendulum of power swing noticeably to your side. The change in her is actually palpable. You can just about see her becoming attacked to you, developing feelings, looking at you with that anticipation. I call it the doggy dinner bowl look. Her head sort of tilted, those trance-like eyes glued on you, just begging to be kissed. When she's drawn towards you like a magnet, you won't part with this material for any price. But you really do have to act now. We're selling this program with all the bonuses at a special price, but this offer won't be available for long. Here's what Pedro had to say. I conquered my dream girl. She's amazing, cute, hot, and loves sex, and left another relationship to be with me. Here's what John had to say. I just want to say that I feel now that my game is reaching an entirely new level, which is amazing. Here's what Victor had to say. I got laid yesterday, first time in well over five or six years, and you guys helped me achieve this. I don't want to put pressure on you, but you got a choice to make. Choice one is keep doing what you're doing now, and more than likely the girls you really like will keep slipping away. And sadly, by next week, she could be gone into the arms of some other guy, sleeping with him, giving herself over to him. You'll continue to put time and effort into meeting a girl and getting to know her, only to watch her slip through your fingers before you can turn it into anything meaningful. If you keep making the same mistakes, her attraction towards you is going to continue to plummet. If you watched this far in the video, it means you want this, and you know it could work for you. Do you really want to put it off any longer? If you're thinking I'll come back to this video later or tomorrow, we both know you won't. And even if you do, chances are this deal won't be here. Or you could take choice two. Of course, you could choose to try doing it yourself. But you ever hear the saying, why reinvent the wheel? If you go out tonight and meet your dream girl, would you really want to risk it trying it your way? Wouldn't you rather know you've got a tested, proven formula for making her fall in love with you, get her desperate to sleep with you? Right now, there are girls in your life who are still undecided about you. Every wrong move you make and more and more of the attraction she felt towards you is disappearing. And before you know it, any chance you had with her will be long gone. If you do this wrong and bore her, creep her out, or seem needy or unattractive, you'll very rarely get a second chance. If you do, you'll waste time and money, and you'll have to come back here anyway. And when you do, this deal won't be available anymore. Or you could take choice three and risk nothing at all and get unlock her legs and get her chasing you tonight. Get her to your place, get her clothes off, and finally experience the ultimate satisfaction of seducing that hard-to-get girl. It really is that simple. Thousands have already done this before you. Here's what Ferdinand had to say. I actually can't believe how much it already changed. Literally, I changed from having no dates in years to going out with a different girl every evening this week, within one week of learning this advice from you. Within minutes, you can be flipping through the Scrambler playbook, throwing her your first curveball, and sitting back knowing the seed has been planted to get her absolutely infatuated with you. All you have to do to get started is click the Add to Cart button below. You'll get instant access to everything, and you can begin using the Scrambler tonight. You really have nothing to lose. Remember, all the risk is on our shoulders. If Unlock Her Legs doesn't deliver what it promised, you get all your money back, no questions asked. Can you imagine a life filled with beautiful girls eager for your attention and what your life's going to be like when you don't have this problem anymore? So go ahead right now and take action. Click the orange button below that says add to cart and take the first step towards living the lifestyle you know you're capable of living. Still here? Maybe you have some questions. So one of the questions we get is, are there any hidden extra charges or memberships? And the answer is no, there's definitely not. Unlock Her Legs is a one-time payment, that's it, and then you have lifetime access to the material. And remember, it's covered by our 60-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee, which means you have 60 full days to go through the program, try it out, and if for any reason uh, it, you don't like it, uh, you can just send an email and return it. Another question we get is, is the program hard to learn? Is there a lot of stuff to memorize? And the answer is, uh, there's not a lot to memorize. You get a, a scrambler playbook, and then you also get a video that walks you through the weapons that you're going to be using throughout the scrambler. And it's all sort of psychological stuff. And once you understand 
um, why the things work and, and the reactions they cause in a girl, you don't have to actually memorize specific lines to use because you're just targeting certain psychological impulses in her. So no, uh, there's definitely not a lot of stuff to memorize and it's not hard to learn. Another question we get is, well, how long will it take to get her? Now, her opinion of you is going to change quickly. When you implement the scrambler and you start using a, a lot of the psychological weapons we teach throughout Unlock Her Legs, she's going to instantly um, change her opinion of you. The question of how long will it take to get her depends on how much you see her. If it's a girl, for instance, that is in your social circle and you see her at parties and you see her, you know, at class all the time, it can happen a lot faster than if it's, let's say, a girl that maybe is just um, a random uh, waitress at a, at a place you frequent and you don't get to see her as often, it, it, it could take a little bit longer. But if it's a girl you see all the time, uh, it works very fast. Another question we get is, well, what if I'm shy or nervous around girls? And it really doesn't matter. The truth is, I'm a natural introvert, and I'm very shy around everybody in, in general. Um, another thing about Unlock Her Legs is not only do we give you the scrambler playbook and the psychological weapons, but we also teach you how to interact so that when you're actually with the girl, the kind of things you should be saying. I mean, you have one of the bonuses we give is the 12 conversation topics. So you actually have 12 specific conversation topics that you can use. So even if you're shy or nervous, it doesn't matter because we've got you handled. Like I said in the video, it's like having me and Rob there coaching you on your every move. How is the program delivered? Uh, the program is delivered instantly in a secure members only site. And that means that even if it's two o'clock in the morning right now, once you purchase, you'll be taking immediately to a download area where you'll be able to watch all the programs. If you want to download the material and put them on your iPod, you can do that. It's your choice. You can watch them straight from our site or you can download them to your own you know, iPod, iPhone, computer, whatever you want. Another question we get is, will it work on a girl I already know? And what about random girls I'm just meeting? Uh, the thing is, is that, like, like I said, the ingredients you're learning can change your opinion of you. So if this is a girl that you already know, um, definitely, definitely works. And in fact, that's sort of who the, the program was designed for, was a girl you already know. Um, if you don't know her, it works just as well because the psychological weapons you're using work anyway. The only difference is you don't have to do some of the um, earlier steps. When you're going after a girl you know, uh, there are steps in the scrambler for actually kind of, we call it throwing a curveball to kind of give you, allow you to erase her mental chalkboard. You can skip that step if, if it's a girl you're just meeting. But everything from there on out is, is very similar and it definitely works on girls you already know. Uh, I'm old, divorced, I've been out of the game a while, will this work? And the answer is yes. We've already taught this to lots of divorced guys, lots of older guys, and lots of guys who are coming back into the game after a relationship and they're getting astonishing results. Um, it, it, it definitely works and it's definitely a, 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 a awesome blueprint because a lot of times when you've been out of the game for a while, you sort of forget the game and this teaches it to you and tells you step by step. And like I said, it's like having me and Rob there kind of coaching you like a chess player telling you go here do this do that so it, t it takes a lot of the mistakes that you might you might have made otherwise away uh will she catch on to what i'm doing uh it doesn't matter if she catches on it'll still work the thing is the game taps into reflexes and it's sort of like i said if if somebody taps your your, your knee and you know that they're doing it to get the reflex your, your leg is still going to jump and that's the way this program works is that you're tapping psychological reflexes in her and even if she's like, oh, he's just doing that, to, it's still going to work. And that's the beautiful thing about the program. So click the Add to Cart button below and get started. Um, I know this program is going to change your life. And just a quick reminder, it's completely guaranteed by a 60-day money-back policy. So you have absolutely nothing to lose to try this program out.